some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we found ourselves in Kissimmee, Florida at the local tax collector office where S. Elmo decides to harass a uh, security guard over the Fourth Amendment. The trouble is, the security guard just seems to be ignoring him and continuing about his job. And poor little ass Elmo gets all sad and blood hurt about it. I swear at one point it sounds like he's about to cry because he's not getting the attention that he wants. Oh, poor little frauditor. Baby want his bottle? If somebody could get this uh, butthurt frauditor his baby bottle, that'd be nice. In the meantime, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, folks? Oddity America. We're out in Kissimmee, Florida. First Amendment audit. Let's see how it goes. Three, station, A, one, Hey, can I get your name and batch number, please, sir? Sure, my name is Pierre. Pierre, nice to meet you. Um, how come you guys uh, have to search people's bags on the way in? I'm concerned about people's uh, constitutional rights and our Fourth Amendment right, uh, you know, guarantees us our right to uh, our, to keep our documents in private. And I understand that, you know, this is a public building. Uh, people have access to it. They don't have to waive their rights on their way in, do they? Let me ask you something, ass Elmo. Has the ink from that tattoo gone straight to your brain and caused you to be stupid? Or have you always been this stupid? No, 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 Frauditor, don't answer that question. I don't want you to get any more brain damage by thinking about it too much, okay? Oh, let me tell you something, you brain-dead Frauditor. The Fourth Amendment guarantees us the right from unreasonable. Searches and seizures, the key word being unreasonable. All this security guard is doing is checking the paperwork of the people that want to transact business in here to see if they have a legitimate reason to be there. You know, to keep ass clowns like you out of there and causing trouble. So please carry on with your attempts to act like you're an intelligent human being, only to fall flat and make us all laugh at your stupidity. How come you guys search bags? Okay. Hello. How can I help you today? Walk in. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get in there. Now, sir. Hello, guys. How can I help you? Two. Station. B. 21. Very good. Go right side. Thank you. How are you doing today? Good, good. Yeah, sure. You need to tell license if you have it, you know it. Very good, sir. Go right side. You're welcome. Oh my god, ass clown, did you see that tyranny? He looked at the paperwork and let them walk through. Oh my goodness, this is a crime against humanity. Oh, come on. Do something about it, ass clown. So I try to do my videos as respectful as possible. But usually when usually when I arrive to places, I'm being treated unfairly just because I'm a, guy, I'm a regular guy with a, a cell phone filming. And I feel like, you know, my First Amendment is being uh, trampled on everywhere I go in, in, in government offices around the country. So that's the reason I do these videos, uh, to, to make sure that our First Amendment is being protected and that, uh, and that public employees are uh, being held accountable uh, whenever they do wrong. You see, there's a lot of people that, that, like police officers, you know, they're out there making sure that, that we're doing the right thing, that we don't break the law. But I can tell you, sir, I have hundreds of videos, police officers breaking the law. And you know, the other day One I went, second, sure, go ahead. Oh my God, my crayon munching friend, did you see that tyranny just now? He actually talked to them in a pleasant manner without being an asshole, unlike you. 
you know, you really should hold them accountable for those actions right there. I mean, this kind of thing shouldn't be spreading around. Okay, I don't want to say. Your dad? Uh, my friend. Austin. Awesome. Don't want to say. Now, sure. Hello, man. How can I help you today? Um, I just need to review this. Station. 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 May I? You have a wonderful day. Go, Brian Scott. Thank you so much. Oh, this way. Oh my God, you found true tyranny, ass Elmo. You looked in the right spot. This man looked at her paperwork, let her go on through, and told her to have a nice day. That is stupendously tyrannous right there. Do something for us, ass Elmo. Please save us from this tyranny that you speak of. I can't stand it anymore. So the other day, I went to the D, uh, the BVL tax collector's office, and the Puerto Rican uh, Sir, lady, she was very rude. I'm sorry. It's the smoking. I don't smoke. It's smoking. Okay. Look, I'll be respectful. Thank you, sir. I'll be respectful. Okay. Um, so I'll let you take care of them. Hello. Just have to register. Very good. How you doing, young man? Good, good. No, no, no. Have a good day, sir. Go right inside. Oh, it just sends shivers up and down my spine to see such tyranny and the fact that you haven't done anything about it yet. You are not doing your job right, ass Elmo. Come on, save us all, please. So this lady was very rude. I'm sorry. Yeah. So this lady was very rude on video, and five days later, she has 1.1 million views on the internet. And that's how we hold people accountable, sir. Liar! There's an old saying that I grew up around, don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. In other words, don't lie to me. Because this one, I assume, is the one you're talking about, and it's sure as hell nowhere near. 1 million views. So, try again. I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm not trying to be rude. But if I'm, if people are rude to me, then, you know, I am doing a, 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 an analysis on the First Amendment. And the First Amendment protects us when we're saying things that other people don't, don't like. Uh, as long as we don't speak violence, it's, it should all be okay. Um, do you guys know, get any training on the Constitution before you, uh, before you become a, a tax collector's uh, security officer? Are you doing any, have you any transactions happening? Because I'm going to have to, we're closing at 4 o'clock. So I, I understand, it's just a quick question. Do, do they give you guys yet any training or not? Sir, unfortunately, the only questions I can answer is any questions during your services. If you have any services. Well, this is pertaining to your job. But you see, that's my whole point, sir. You see, I'm trying to have a normal conversation with you about your job, and you want no part of it. No, 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 I'm, I'm performing my job. Sir. Well, it's just a simple question. You can say yes or no, and that's it. What a true working man we've got right here, ignoring any distractions that will disrupt his job. Good for you. And I'm sure Ass Elmo will be pissed off that he's not getting the attention he thinks he deserves. Do they give you guys any training on that or not? You see, sir, I'm pretty certain that, that you don't get any training on it because you know what's the next question. If you say yes, I will quiz you on it. Hello, sir. And I'm sure they don't know it. And we're not, we're not supposed to know our, uh, sure. the, the Bill of Rights, but they are. They're the ones wearing a badge. That's why we have 100 million views on the Internet, sir. 100 million. Yeah, at this point, Ass Elmo is pretty much just talking to himself. Uh, he's got nobody else to talk to. I mean, nobody wants to talk to him anyway. 
What I'm very sure is that you guys did get briefed on who I am and that I'm out here, sir. And, and, and we have thousands watching. Every time you see me, know that the, behind this camera, there's thousands of people watching. It's not, I'm not just a regular guy with a snapback and, and, and an iPhone, you know what I'm saying? We're watching. The same way you're watching, we're watching back, sir. Remember that. Have a good day, sir. See guys, these people work for us, but they, they act like we owe them something. We don't owe them nothing, anything. This is a paid service. This is a paid service by the, by the city. Osceola County tax collectors. I mean, our rights should be protected here more than anywhere else. Tax, co tax collector, hmm. Tax collector, tax. It looks like what they want from my videos, taxes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here encouraging people to follow the constitution, to know our rights. There's no reason why he should be there questioning anybody. You know what I'm saying? This is a public building financed by us. Tax, 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 tax. So this is our house, bro. You know, you don't need a guy telling you, let me see what you got in your, in your bag. That's your fourth amendment. Before uh, he cuts off the video, he has one last warning for us. So let's listen in. Shout outs to my people from the United, United States Virgin Islands. Shout outs to Annie from the VI. Guys, all my people from St. Croix, everybody from St. Croix, guys, shout outs to you guys. We will be there soon also. To anybody who's living out in the U.S. Virgin Islands, beware of Ash Elmo. He is headed your way fairly soon. So you guys just hunker down and ride out the storm of this stupidity. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.